Hello, I think we're live. Uh, I might have to move a cat momentarily because he's decided that he's now interested in everything that I'm doing. Um, but hi, everyone. Uh, let me know if we have any issues with video or volume levels in the chat because we're still trying to figure some stuff out. Uh, we have a new setup today from our Friday stream, so hopefully everything looks and sounds good. Um, for those of you that are brand new, welcome. I'm Samantha. I'm the owner and dance instructor for Love Live Dance based in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, and we are going to uh, try some wedding waltz today. Um, wedding waltz is not a technical term by any means. Uh, it's how I refer to anything that is a fast waltz tempo going all the way up to Viennese waltz. And it's being taught in a situation where um, technically correct is not the goal. The goal is to be comfortable. The goal is to look like we know what we're doing. <laughs> and the goal is to have fun. So it's very uh, adaptable based on um, if you're doing a wedding or a quinceanera or another like performance based activity um, where you might have some weird um, dress requirements or jacket requirements that might impact how much we can move. And it's also really well designed for a very small dance floor. Um, so the average wedding rental dance floor is 20 by 20. Um, that should work really well for everybody that's in kitchen or apartment spaces because we have to downsize it um, pretty heavily to work on that kind of a floor. So if you are here, if you're a competitive student or a social dance student that knows Viennese Waltz, I'm gonna show some different ways that you can kind of adapt and change um, what you already know to work on a small dance floor. And then if you've never danced before, this is gonna be perfect for you if you are dancing to uh, Ed Sheeran's Perfect, Etta James's At Last, can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley, Tiempo de Valls, uh, A Blue Danube, which was what was playing earlier, Thousand Years, Christina Perry, I could go on and on and on. There are a bunch of waltz, and I'm gonna use that in scare quotes, songs that are being used for a number of different, either first dance, father, daughter, mother, son, or uh, quinceanera type events. So without further ado, let's get started. I am going to ask my wonderful, lovely test subject, I mean husband, to come join me for this. Um, Matt does not dance, he puts up with me, so he is going to be uh, your vessel into this dance lesson. So if you have any questions as we go along, please do pop them in the chat. I think it's on this side. Uh, questions, clarifications, if you just wanna say hi, Please do, and let's get started. Okay, we have a new dance cam. Hopefully it works, and woo, I am washed out. Hopefully that balances out. Uh, so, Matt, if you wanna come join me. All right. <laughs> so, uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with some side hesitation or balance steps. Uh, okay. Super simple, super easy, nothing too crazy. Uh, so we're gonna face forward, uh -huh. perfect. And then with your left foot, we're gonna take a side step to the left. So we have side with the left, and then we're just gonna brush our foot to close without changing weight. Then we're gonna take a side step to the right, brush the foot to close without changing weight. So we have left, two, three, right, two, three, left, two, Three, right, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Is there anything fancy I'm supposed to be doing other than just stepping left and right? <laughs> Nothing it's... fancy at this point. Uh, All right. If you remember the Will Smith movie Hitch, where he says just stay in your box, we're doing exactly that. I'm just taking the bounce out of it. Okay. So we're just taking a step to the side bringing our foot into close, taking a side, bringing our foot into close. And we don't All even right. have to take huge steps. There is a cat in the background. Uh, <laughs> we don't have to take huge steps. Just think like shoulder, shoulder width, nice and comfortable. Um, again, the idea is this is a dance that a bride could wear, could dance while she's wearing her, her wedding dress, whether it's 
super big or super small. Right. And for grooms that are wearing their super skinny tailored dress pants, this also works as well. So nice and small, nice, nice and compact. And small. I yes. gotcha. Absolutely. Now, uh, if you are watching this and you're a little bit more advanced, you're a competitive student, you're a social dance student, like I said earlier, you can bring some of your rise and fall from your technique, from your technique, from your waltz into this. So I can lower and then brush my foot as I rise, lower, brush my foot as I rise. But that is yeah, absolutely a... not required and not something that you would be expected to do. No, no. I, I think this is uh, in my box. Yeah. Like you said. Super. Nice and easy. Uh -huh. um, so from here, we're also then going to do the same thing going forward and backwards. Now as we go forward and backwards, we're going to go forward on our left and backwards on our right. So for right now, um, we're going to go forward on the left, brush the foot to close, step back on the right, brush the foot to close. And I'm going to take a half step back so you can see my feet as we wait, go Wait, wait, so, so I'm already screwing this up then. So when I'm okay. stepping left and right, I'm not just stepping left and right. I'm stepping left and then I'm supposed to drag my foot. Correct, without changing your weight. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's not gonna have the same effect if you go one, two, three, four, and you kind of keep your feet in place. Well, I was just lifting my foot. Ah, so you're more like tapping it. Yeah, we don't wanna tap, we wanna, we wanna keep the foot nice and- Dragging my foot, gotcha. Exactly, exactly. We wanna glue that foot to the ground and just kind of brush it along like we're shuffle stepping. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, if we switch to the forward and backwards, we're going forward on that left. So we have one brush, back on the right, brush, forward, left, brush, back on the right, brush. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, and four. Five, okay. six. Nice and easy, right? You have not lost me yet. Excellent. Um, for those that are once again competitive or social dance students, make sure that you're using your proper forward and backward step technique on this. So I'm driving with my heel nice and low, then I'm rising as I close my feet, lower and extend, push, rise and close. Again, if you're brand new and you're learning this for a wedding, that is not the expectation. That, that is, is not the outside goal. of my box. Exactly. Exactly. So let's put these um, in a little practice routine separately and then we'll try it together. So we'll do two sets to the side. So one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Sure. And you, you, you count just like that. And, I guess. and then we'll go forward and back the same uh -huh. way. Forward, back, forward, back. Okay. All right. So starting with our left to the left, we have one, two, three, two, two, three, three. Two, three, four. We're gonna go forward. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And I think we're gonna to have to take a half a step back. Okay. Because I'm noticing in the viewfinder that we're we're hitting the edge of our floor. Alright. So we'll do that one more time. Side to side and then forward and back. And we have one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Four, forward and back. One, two, three. Two, you, you, two, you probably three, thought three, two, when you started three, this that it would be four. immediately apparent to me that this wasn't normal time, but it was not until just now. It just it, it just now clicked how I'm counting. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. absolutely. <laughs> so it's three quarter time. It is three quarter okay. time. Yeah, it's in th uh, when we refer to things in waltz, we're referring to them as in they're written in three four. Uh -huh. Now the reason why earlier when I was kind of introducing this, I was using scare quotes when I said waltz. Um, I have the distinct pleasure of having a younger brother who's incredibly musically inclined. And, and I love my younger brother, and we have gone rounds and rounds and rounds over this. Apparently, some of the music that I'm going to list off here in a second is not actually written in 3-4. It's written in a very, very, very slow 4-4, four, four, but the beat that I'm picking up is the triplet that's bifurcating each measure. If that sounds like gibberish, you're probably with me on this. Um, it's not going to matter to me because you're counting all of this for me. Exactly, exactly. And as so, long as that continues, and, that's fine. And that's definitely something that I want to kind of come back to at the end of the lesson today, mm -hmm. is to talk about how different people hear different music. Um, we talked about 
this Friday, so not tomorrow, but the day after on Friday when we stream about doing a little bit of music identification. Um, everyone hears, most people hear music differently, so what my ear hears, whether mm -hmm. it's a slow 4-4 four, four or a fast 3-4, might be completely different from from you or from someone else in the industry. So just because I'm saying, like, if, if you come to me and say that you're going to use um, At Last by Etta James, I'm going to say it's a Viennese waltz, so we're doing 3-4, so we're doing exactly what we're doing here. That doesn't mean that somebody else that you go to won't say, okay, well, I'm actually hearing it as a super slow 4-4, four, four, and therefore we're going to do a bachata or a box basic that's heavily modified to work. So different difference in opinions and kind of what your ear hears and picks up on. Sure. I, I'm musically illiterate, so I'm counting to three. That's the important part you're, to me right now. You're counting to three, but you're only stepping on the first count for right now. That's going to change here in a few minutes. Okay. So we're going to take a step on one, uh -huh. and then I'm going to use that brushing action to fill two, three. Yes. Then I step on four, brush five, six. Step one, hold two, three. Step four, brush five, six. Sure. Etc. Going forward and back. One, two, I can do this. three, four. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so let's try it together. We'll try okay. it first with counts. And is it beach ball? It is. It beach is. Ball. So if you were here on Friday for our stream, we talked about closed hold and how I asked leads to pretend like they are holding a large beach ball. So go ahead and do that for me. Beach ball. Beach ball. Uh, you're going to roll your shoulders back and down. You're going to make sure your elbows are nice and lifted. <laughs> There we go. Right. And then as a follow, I'm going to step into the space that um, my partner's created for me. Left hand's going to come up and over, and then right hand is just going to clasp his hand. So we're not interweaving our fingers, which a lot of people do. We're just going to have a nice mm. clasped hand. Okay. So let's actually turn this so that you're still facing the camera and okay. I am facing backwards. You're going to be starting to the side on your left. I'm going to be starting to the side on my right, but otherwise the footwork stays the same. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, and then we're going to go forward and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, we'll go to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, forward and back. Go one, two, three, four. Five, six, so one, two, three, and four, five, six. All right. So far, so good? Sure. Okay. Um, let's try it with music. So the music, um, unfortunately, because of copyright, is going to be generic YouTube audio. Um, but it's the closest things that I could find to the type of music. So you're going to have a wide variety of mm -hmm. classic, country, a little bit of soul, R&B, because... 3-4 kind of spans the whole music library. Oh, okay. I was expecting to end up with like classical music. A lot of it is going to be kind of yeah. like that Strauss piece, the Blue mm -hmm. Danube that I played in the beginning, but I think the first one that I have queued up is actually more uh, country rock and roll into the world, so we'll give it a shot. We'll give it All a right. shot. Uh, while I am over here playing with music, let me know in the chat if you guys have any questions or clarifications or if you just want to check in and say hi and let me know that you're here and as I put the music on definitely let me know if it's too loud if the balance needs to change because that is something that we are definitely still playing with okay so kind of bluesy rock and roll -y. So the way that I hear it, and the way that I'm going to count it, is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Okay. So I'm using that tambourine as kind of my way of hearing where the downbeat is. So three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Okay. As long as you keep counting, I, I can work with that. I'll do that. Beach ball. Beach ball. Yeah. And one, two, three, four, five. One, this two, is much faster three, than what we were just doing. It is. 
I feel like I've been tricked. <laughs> You're only tricked because this is one of the slower ones that I could find. Slower? Yeah. I, I definitely feel like I've been tricked then. So that's the thing. When you talk about songs like um, Can't Help Falling in Love uh -huh. or Ed Sheeran's Perfect, they sound like super slow songs, but they're remarkably fast from a ballroom world. Uh huh. This is really as fast. This is as fast as I move, and you stopped counting, so I don't know if I'm where I'm supposed to be or not. You are. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, four, five, six. One, four, five, six. One, two, three, okay. four, five, six. One, two. No offense. Uh huh. I'm a little bored now. Okay. So. Okay. Let's talk got... about ways to make it more interesting. And even though I say I'm bored, that might also be too fast because if you make it any more sophisticated than that, I'm going to struggle. Right. So, so the next two things that we're going to put on are, are going to talk about are um, rotation and then a turn for the follow. It looks like I've got someone mm. in chat. Uh, sounds good. Maybe a little bit more volume on the music. Okay. Sounds good. Um, next time I play the music, I'll turn it up just a smidge. Um, so... The next thing that we're going to talk about is rotating um, as a couple. Okay. I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to talk through two different options, and then I'm going to give you the one that I personally rely more on when it's available to me. Mm -hmm. So, again, this is all in the wedding waltz end of the world, so we're dealing with brides in gowns for the most part. Sure. Um, some that are super fitted, some that are super long and have a train or a bustle attached to them. So mobility is always my first priority when I'm, co when I'm consulting with a client, mm -hmm. is trying to figure out what will actually work and what isn't gonna work. Because the last thing I want is someone to trip on their dress while they're dancing. Bad news. Um, so if mobility is an issue, Mm -hmm. If we have a long bustle or a train and the bride doesn't feel comfortable taking a full step backwards, obviously that forward and back piece we, we wouldn't do. Okay. So when it comes to rotation, we can do that side action and just add on a slight pivoting. But doesn't that just sort of turn into the... Uh... The deacon shuffle or the 13-year-old shuffle that everyone tries to avoid. I mean, I don't know what it's called, but I've definitely seen that in a lot of weddings. Yes, it absolutely does. So the version that I much more prefer when mobility is not an issue and when I'm not restricted in uh -huh. forward and back is what I call the worst, the world's worst 13 point turn. So instead of going just forward uh -huh. and back in place, we can rotate it ever so slightly. And again, we can depend, we can change how much rotation we want mm -hmm. to create. But that way, instead of the side to side action mm -hmm. that we've seen a million times, where you're just rocking back and forth, now we're creating a forward and back act, pendulum action, okay. which gives it just a little bit more variety and difference. Okay. You're not sold. Well, I mean, so you're spinning what, like uh, 45 degrees each time? It depends. It depends. I would, I would shoot for 45. If you can do 90 each full set, uh -huh. then that would be awesome. Okay. But again, it's going to depend on the couple. It's going to depend on the amount of space you have. It's going to sure. depend on a lot of things. Hey, I'm here to do what you tell me to do. So, so. let's let's try for 45 degrees uh -huh. and see how that feels, whether that's comfortable yeah. or if it's too much rotation for well, you. Well, I, I say 40, when I say 45, I guess I mean 45 forward, forward and 45, 45 backwards. Back. So it really is. Maybe it is, that, 90. is that what you mean by 90? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So are we doing that right now? Yeah, let's okay. try it. Let's try it. So oh, oh, okay. we'll, we'll try it first on our own, and then we'll try and put it together. Okay. So we're going to... Only forward and back. Only forward and back. Okay. Only forward and back. So we'll do one forward and back without rotation, just to remind us what that feels like. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go I forward and back, and now we're going to turn. So we're going to inch 45, back it up 45. Sure. Forward 45, back it up. 
forward, back it up, forward, and back it up. Yeah. And we kind of got the, there. The off on one. We kind of yeah. got there. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the tricky thing when it comes to like exactly how much rotation you're uh -huh. trying to hit every single time. Uh -huh. I more go with like at the end of four basics, I want to be back to where I've started. So that way you've got a little bit of latitude if one's a little bit stronger and one's a little bit smaller. Okay. Let's try that together. Beach ball. Beach ball. Uh, Slightly offset so we don't kick each other. Okay. We're going to do one in place and then we're going to do four to get back to where we started. One in place and by in place you mean forward and back no turn. Okay. And then we turn. Yes. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're rotating one, two, three. Four, five, six, so oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so oh, one, two, three, four. Last one, oh, one, two, three, and four, five, six. We got there. Okay. We kind of got there. Sure. Let's try that one more time. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, so oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so oh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, so oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so oh, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Very nice. That works. That works. Okay. That works. Any questions? Anything that you feel uh, no, unsure no. about? No, no. I, I mean, this is very easy. It's as easy as it seems as easy as it could get. So. I assume the hammer's coming. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we'll give you one more easy pattern. Okay. We'll put all of the easy stuff together, and then we'll start getting into the, now let's make it really danceable. Okay. So the next pattern that I want to talk about is the underarm turn for the follow. Okay. So I'm going to show you your footwork first, and then I'm going to take some time with my follows that are on the stream to figure mm -hmm. out what they're having to do. So. All you're going to do is you're going to go back to that side basic that we had at the very beginning. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh -huh. As you step to the left, you're going to raise your hand to the left and remove your right hand and then keep going. So you have one, two, three, and by the time you get back on your right, uh -huh. you're going to bring your partner back into roll. Pretty much exactly the same thing as what we did last week. Right? Exactly the same as what we okay. did in Rumba. Just slightly to the left, release the hand on uh -huh. the left. Okay, no, no jerking, no pushing. No jerking, no pushing, okay. gentle signals. And you definitely don't want to keep your hand on my back as I'm turning, because that's going to do terrible things to my shoulder. Okay. Okay. Okay, so oh, okay. Let's, let's just try it once. Sure. And then I'll talk about oh. what I'm doing as part of this. Okay. So we're going to do one beach to prep, ball. beach ball, hand lifted. <laughs> we're going to do one to prep. Uh -huh. And then we're going to pretend like we're turning her. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, lift, to one. I, so I don't know. Without, without another person, I, I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. So, right, well, I can demonstrate uh, okay. it, and then I can break down what the, what the ball is doing. Beach ball. Yep. There. One to prep first. So we have one, two, three, uh -huh. four, release. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that, that makes sense. It's very similar to what we did last week. Very similar to what we did okay. with the Rumba. Absolutely. Um, so for my follows, our footwork is going to be slightly more complicated. And I'm going to show you two different variations. So again, if you are a bride that is watching this, or a mother of a groom that's watching this, and you are thinking about it in the frame of mind of how am I going to make this work with my dress and my heels and everything else, you've got two options. So option one is the way that it is technically correct, so the by the book method. Um, we're going to do one side basic to start. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to lift his hand and create space for us. I'm going to step to my right on my right. I'm going to step through with my left, replace the weight on my right, and then take a side step with my left and brush my feet. So one more time, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to step through for one, step across my body with my left for two, pivot, replace the weight on three, take a side step, and then brush my feet to close. So with a consistent count, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six. That is going to feel very fast once we start playing with the music of the tempo. So just be aware that is a fast turn. Now, for those of you that have larger dresses, um, mobility is um, limited, or you just want it to feel a little bit softer and a little bit longer and a little bit more elegant, we can actually walk through the turn exactly the way that we did on Friday with our rumba. So if we do that, we still have our prep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm gonna take six steps to get back to this point. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Change my weight, make sure that I'm planted on that left. So that way I can take my side step with my right. So one more time, that alteration, I have one, two, three, four, five, I walk, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I start again on my right. So if you have a train, a bustle, um, you just want it to be a little bit of a longer turn, that is 100% an okay adaptation to make. How are we doing on the chat? Any questions or anything that we need to address? Someone says you should uh, get the protractor out. <laughs> I'm guessing that wasn't to figure out the angles? I'm guessing that wasn't exactly a 13 point turn. Uh, yeah. You um, need to build it as. Well, I refer to it as a 13 point turn or a 30 point turn because a three point turn, it, it's the same mechanics as a three point turn. It's just the world's worst version of that. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of thinking about it in angles, like 45 degrees, 90 degrees, because those of us that weren't good at math uh, or English sure. apparently, um, it gets a little bit tricky. So instead, if you think 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, Seven o'clock, six o'clock, five o'clock, three o'clock. No, you could too, think of too, it too many in, times. In, the important thing is you're trying to you're making a circle. Yeah, you're making a circle. Oh, wow. And the great thing about social dance and for a large portion wedding dance, nobody's mm. gonna judge you. Okay. And if they do judge you, that's their thing, not not your thing. So mm. if you're a little bit off, it doesn't matter one way or the other. Okay. Yeah. So what's next? So let's try this together. So okay. we're gonna do it by the book twice. And then we're going to show the adapted version of it twice. And one of us might be running because the cat's about to jump on something he shouldn't. See ya. All right. Beach so we're ball. doing our, we're, we're in our beach ball. We're doing uh -huh. our two, we're doing a prep of our side. And then you are going to turn me on the second one. So we have one, two, three, four, release. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do that again. Okay. One, two, three, four four, five, release, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and, and I'm gonna have the exact same question I had last time, which is exactly where am I supposed to be releasing and lifting? Yeah, so on- is it As I start moving back to the left? So on this one, the, by, the, the correct answer would actually be on count six, because you wanna give your partner room that's going to be really okay. important as we get um, to faster songs is to give okay. more and more leeway. So it's right before I start moving left. So it's left. right before you start moving left. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if we try that again, we have one, two, three, four, five, release. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And just to demonstrate the difference, that was the correct, the by the book correct way of doing it. I'm now going to switch and do the adaptation. Um, so if you have any mobility um, concerns, this is the option and what it's going to look like. So we have one, two, three, four, five, release. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, no. two, three, four, five, release. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So as you can tell, the second one was a much bigger rotation, but it was slower in effect because I wasn't whipping around in a pivot turn to get back uh -huh. to you. I'll, I'll, I'll have to take your word for it. I'm normally too busy counting in my head to actually know what you're doing. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, let's put both the forward and back with rotation and the side to side with the turn together. 
So a good practice routine for those of you that are practicing along with us at home would be uh -huh. one forward and back in place. Uh -huh. Then do a full rotation, however long that gets to you. We'll do it in four okay. to get back to where you started. One side to side to prep. And then on the second side to side, we turn. And of course, you can add more sets of forward and back or side to side if you need okay. extra time. So this is perfect. The, the, the one uh, to practice before you actually do anything fancy is exactly the, the speed I need, I think. Yeah, so we'll do one, do a fancy thing, uh -huh. do one, and then do another fancy thing. <sighs> buddy, buddy. Sure. Okay. Sorry, we have a nosy cat that just wants to be in everything today. Right. So no music, just no music. Okay. We'll do it with counts first. Wait, what, are we going forward and back first? We're starting okay. with forward and back. Forward and back first. Yep. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four, five, six, four, two, three, four, side to side. One. Two, three, four, release. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was way slow on that release. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. Time and practice. Okay. Let's do that one more time with counts, and then we'll try it with music. This time, I'm going to count it slightly faster. Oh, is this music going to be faster than this? A little <sighs> bit. A little bit. It's always a trick. <laughs> so we have. So I'm going to give you a one through six, uh -huh. and then we'll start the second time uh -huh. through. So you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four, five, six, four, two, three, four, to the side, one, two, three, four, release, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then from there you'd start back into your forward and back basic. Okay. Was that the right speed, or okay. is it going to get even faster? Uh, we'll find out here in a second. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. <clears throat> and someone said increase the volume, if I, if I remember correctly. Yep, I'll turn it up just a touch. Nope. Wasn't even on that. <laughs> so remember, the music is deceptive. Let me actually turn it up just a little bit more than uh -huh. that. So music is deceptive. This feels like a slow, nice club kind of song. The way that I'm hearing sure. it is much faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's, six. that's not terrible. Not, no, we're, not, we're not getting into the okay. music just yet. Okay, beach ball. because I'm off? No, 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 you're okay. doing awesome, you're doing awesome. I want to do it one more time so that you can see the alternate turn. Oh, forward. okay, okay. Now, having said that, I do feel two things. Mm. One, I, I feel as though I'm not making a complete turn. You are. Am I? You are. I feel like the very last We're still in process set. as we're taking the side step, and that's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, very forgiving. And I feel like one of us, and I assume it's me, is taking the wrong side steps. Because by the time we're over here, going this way, I feel like one of us is in the other one's grill. I assume it's me and your grill. You have to practice this a bunch so that you get uh -huh. consistent with your step size. Absolutely. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Beach ball. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Three, two. Two, three, four, five, six, four, two, three, four, side to side, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Uh, oh, are we still going?
done? No, no that's okay. okay. That's okay. all right. <laughs> okay, you haven't lost me yet. Hey, that is awesome that uh -huh. I haven't lost you yet. Not let yet. me let me switch over to the chat cam for a second, and we'll we'll talk a little bit before things get uh, infinitely more complicated. Okay. So so tell me how you're kind of feeling about things. And those of you that are so in far, the chat, so far, I feel like Waltz is very know. boring. Okay, Waltz is very boring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've oversimplified it at this okay. point. Okay. Um, again, this is what I would normally start wedding couples off with uh -huh. when they bring me a Viennese Waltz piece. Okay. Because I don't want to scare them out the door. I don't want to scare you guys off. Um, so. And that's because you said Viennese is, is much more difficult. Yeah. Viennese, I would say, so for me personally, in my experience, Viennese, quick step, pas mm. doble, and samba are incredibly difficult. Okay. And prohibitive to beginners really getting into dance. And, and I'm a very simple person. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so. So um, we talked on Friday about kind of the basic six mm -hmm. and how Viennese waltz isn't one of those basic six. But waltz is. But, but slow waltz is. And okay. slow waltz is your American rumba. The box step that we did on Friday, mm -hmm. if we count it as one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. that is your American or international rumba, your slow waltz. Sorry, I said rumba. Your American or international waltz. Is the same as your box step in American Rumba. Wait, what? No, no, I, I, I lost all of that. Say, say that all again. The box step that we did on Friday. Yes. American Rumba. Which was rumba. a Rumba. Yes. We counted it as slow, quick, quick, slow, yes. quick, quick. Yes. So we were taking a total of six steps in the box. Yes. Okay. Do, do that box step. I'm just going to count it differently. So do the same box step uh, that you were just doing. Where does that start again? Forward on your left, backwards oh, okay. on your right. Uh, so this. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Is that even close to six, what I was supposed yeah. to do? I've One, already forgotten what it was. Two, three, four, five, six. That's it. That's oh, okay. It. And notice how slow I was counting compared to the one, two, three, four, five, six that I was counting earlier. Yeah. Right? Okay. It, it's two different tempos. Mm hmm. It, for me, they're not at all the same dance. Mm -hmm. um, I personally think of Viennese Waltz more like a tango. Mm -hmm. We haven't gotten to tango yet, um, but the technique for me is much closer to that of a tango. And that's just my personal preference and how I kind of link them in my brain. Okay. Um, so, so yeah. So, so Viennese Waltz done at a high level, technically correct, full out is very intense and it can be scary to a lot of beginners. So mm -hmm. I water it way down, especially when it's, when you're just learning for a, for a wedding. Um, because you don't have to have all of that technique background if you're just dancing for sure. a minute and a half at your wedding. And this gets me to uh, two sevenths of the, uh, the beginner set. Yeah, right? if, if at the point that we're including Viennese Waltz, yes, that would be your two of seven. Well, I wasn't including Viennese Waltz, I was including this as Waltz. This is and not Waltz. That's oh. why I say wedding waltz. Oh. There's a clarifier there. Oh, okay. Yeah, what what we just did, that, I mean, you could use those as prep steps. Okay. You could use those to kind of like figure out your tempo, and a lot of us do. Okay. Um, especially with the stuff that I'm so, about to do. So get even into. regular waltz is more complicated than this. Regular waltz will start off the same way that we did with our rumba. Okay. Okay, and that's why you're saying they're the same, it's just a different count. Yes. Okay, I got you. Yes. And that is not what we are currently doing, mm -hmm. which is Viennese waltz, but a watered down Viennese waltz. <laughs> I've lost him. I've lost him. Hopefully, I haven't lost you guys. Um, we've got a couple people that are still hanging out. Let me know in the chat this way uh, what questions you might have, what clarifications you might need um, before we get into some of the more tricky stuff. So if you're here, say hi. Um, I don't know if the alerts have worked yet today. Let me know if there hasn't been a box in this this corner um, that have popped up yet, because that means that my alerts haven't worked yet. But yeah. Okay. So, 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 so what's next? So next, we're going to get into ways to make what we just did a little bit closer to the Viennese waltz 
that you would see on a competitive dance floor or at the Vienna Ball or a social dance floor. Closer to Viennese Waltz, not closer to Waltz. Correct. Okay. Correct. Because again, we're this is music that you would use for a wedding, which puts us in the realm of, like I said before, at last, um, can't help falling in love, perfect. Um, I don't know if you've named a song I know yet. From the ground up, I would play them for you, but I'd get copyright struck. Sure. So Google those, <laughs> play but, them at home if you if you aren't familiar with them. But but really, when you talk about waltz and Viennese waltz and whatever this is, you've created three different categories, and I should not try and compare these to one another. Correct. Okay, that that is actually very helpful to know. Yeah, yeah. There's slow okay. waltz. There's Viennese waltz, and then there's what I'm currently doing, which is like a, a stop gap between the two. Okay. Yeah. Um, hello, whoever just posted in the chat. Hi. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so so what I'm going to do now is we're going to talk about um, fifth position breaks, and we're going to talk about um, some swing elements that we can mix in, like a sweetheart cuddle just to make it, again, feel more wedding-like, give it a little bit of roundness, give it a little bit more um, grandeur. Oh, it's Max. Okay. Hi, Max. So we're going to take the side basic. Let me switch cameras. So we're going to take the side basic that we just talked about, which is our one hold, hold, two, hold, hold, and instead fill out those two counts that we're kind of pretending don't exist. So I'm actually going to turn around so you can see my footwork. So if I'm starting to my left, um, which if you're watching this should also be your left, but you might have to flip it. Um, I'm going to step to the side for one. I'm going to cross my foot behind for two and replace my weight for three. Then I'm going to take a step to my right for four, cross my foot behind for five, replace the weight for six. Important question. Yes. Are these your steps or are these my steps? These are everybody's steps. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are everybody's steps. So the only difference between lead and follow with the stuff that we're currently doing is as a follow, I'm starting on my right where you're starting on your left, but we're both rocking away from each other. Footwork is exactly the same. Yeah, good, good clarification to make. So again, I'm going to step to the side for one, cross change my weight, replace it, and then take a side for four, cross behind, replace my weight. So if I turn to the side so you can kind of see what's happening uh, this way as well, I have one, cross, replace, two, cross, replace. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, and four, five, six. What'd you think? Honestly, I was checking my text messages. <laughs> um, do that again, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have one cross behind, two cross behind, three cross behind, four cross behind, or I can count it as one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, and four. Five, six. Okay, is the tippy toe thing uh, strictly necessary, it or can is. I get away with? Uh, no, you can't get away with flat footing this or tapping it, and that's how most people cheat it. Is uh -huh. like a one tap, two tap. Well, if most people can get away with it, why can't I? No, get no, away no, with no. It? I didn't say that most people got away with it. I said that's what most people try to do. Okay. Which is very different. Okay. <laughs> so, so yes, you do have to go up on the ball of your foot. That way, they it. Yeah. It's a quick weight change. Yes. Two, three. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you actually put your weight on the foot that's crossing behind. Behind? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. And then oh, change okay. it back. That, that's very different. Cross, replace. One. Cross, replace. <laughs> two. Cross, oh, this is not going to be pretty replace. at all. This is where this is where the fancy stuff comes in, and I, I'm I'm out of my element now. I'm well, out of the box. And and the again is an adapt an adaptation that you can make. Uh -huh. So if you are a groom and you're like, nope, I'm out, I'm done. Uh -huh. I totally understand it. Pretty close. And you can go back to that brush action. This is again something that if we want to build out 
the dance a little bit more. I feel like if I had a drink this evening, I don't know that I'd be doing this. <laughs> no. Or maybe I'd be doing it better. I don't know which. It's 50-50. I don't know. Okay, okay. 50 50 I, coin flip. The biggest thing that I want to... It's a thing. I got it. Yeah. The biggest thing that I want to point out before we try this together to okay. see how you feel about it is um, these are called fifth position breaks. So if I have anybody that's watching that is familiar with ballet, this is a fifth position or a loose susu. I know, gibberish. Yeah. All right, I'll be back over here. No, again. no, 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 wait, wait. So, so tell me, tell me if this makes sense to you. So <laughs> I'm gonna step to the side with my left. Uh huh. I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna brush my the toe of my right foot against the heel of my left foot. Okay. And I'm gonna make a Pac-Man, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna replace my weight, <laughs> and then do the same thing. I'm gonna brush. Uh -huh. Make a Pac-Man face and replace. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a fifth position. Okay. One of the mistakes, again, one of the common mistakes that people make is taking too big of a back step or overcrossing uh -huh. their feet, and what that ends up looking like is one back, one back, and that's gonna feel really jarring if you try it with your partner. So you want to keep it super tight. You okay. want to avoid taking that large back step by just brushing the toe against the heel as okay. it crosses behind. Okay. Yeah? We'll see. Okay. Let's, let's try it together. So we're going to go back to our side basic and just try it in hold a couple of times. I'm have you take a half step. Beach down. ball. Beach ball. All right. Beach ball and offset. Here we go. We wait, wait, wait. Are we doing a, a regular step first or are we going right into this? We're going right into this. Okay. Just the side step. We're going to do it a couple of times. Uh-huh. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, so 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 one, two. Three, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I'm not doing this correct. You're not doing it perfect, but you are doing it. Uh -huh. And that's the important thing to remember at the beginning. I feel like I'm a little bit slow, too. Um. Your weight transfer could be a little bit faster. Uh -huh. But again, time and practice. Rome okay. was not built in a day. A dancer was not built overnight. You uh -huh. gotta take time to practice it. Okay. <laughs> Let's, let me try just that much with some music. It's uh -huh. going to be faster. Oh, that's what I need. So that you can feel the difference. Because that'll fix the all of these problems. Yeah, just crank up that speed. Yeah. Trial by fire kind of thing. Beach ball. Beach ball. We're just doing those fifth position breaks. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One. I feel like I'm like a half step behind on all of this. Um, no, you're doing okay. You're doing fine. Okay, sure. I don't feel like I'm doing fine. I feel like I'm doing fine because you know what you're doing. Again, we gotta do a stream at one point where I'm blindfolded so you can really see how well you're doing. Yeah, like I feel like if I needed to lead something here, I'm a half step behind you at all times, so I don't know how I would ever do that. Try it. I don't know anything to lead you in, so. You can do the same underarm turn. You can switch to a forward and back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There is that thing, right? I don't even know where it starts. Can I just do it here? Yep. Okay. Now we are moving forward ever so slightly, so we might have to move back a little bit. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that, that's all I got. That's all I got. But that was good. That was, that was awesome. I'll take your word for it. Generally, that was awesome. Okay. So, let me pause this real quick. So that's the first kind of tweak that I would make to take it up an extra notch uh -huh. would be replacing your side basic with those fifth positions mm -hmm. and doing a similar thing to your forward and back. So on the forward and back, you could go wait, wait, one wait, 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 march, wait, wait. I'm march. I'm gonna interrupt you here. Yeah. So that's not a fancy thing you throw in, that's a complete replacement of the side stuff. Yes. Was I supposed to be doing that while you did the turn? Yes. Were you not doing that while I was doing the turn? You know, you'd have to look at the video. I don't know. Probably not. Someone tell me in chat if he uh, if he skipped his rock step <laughs> while I was turning. Um, 
Yeah, no, you you would you would replace anytime you're doing a side basic with those fifth positions. Uh -huh. So when you're doing the underarm turn, uh -huh. that becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, oh, okay. four, five, six. I don't know if I did that or not. If I did, it was a complete accident. <laughs> But again, that's the thing about it being a wedding waltz, mm. right? There are certain latitudes that you can make and certain choices that you as the dancer can choose. Hey, I don't feel like doing it at this exact moment because I've got other things to kind of focus on. Okay. He did the rock step. See, I thought I, so. It was an accident then. <laughs> I, I appreciate whoever's lying for me probably. But... Once you get in the groove, you had it. Uh -huh. um, yeah, no. So the, the other thing that you could do is the forward and back. So before we were going one so brush, two too, brush, three brush, four brush, we're just going to go one march, march, two march, march, three march, march, four march, march. So I'm doing a replacing replacement of my weight as I take all of my steps. I, I, I don't know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, so you're doing too much. You're doing, doing too, too much. much. You're doing too much. <laughs> okay. you're, you're trying too hard. I, You'd be, you'd be surprised. <laughs> so as we go through this, we have one. Uh -huh. I'm gonna replace my weight and then come back down on a flat foot. Uh -huh. So I'm not gonna think like march, march, pick up the pick up the uh -huh. knees. I'm gonna step, push up, and okay. come back down on a flat foot. Okay, step, I, I, I get that much. Push up, come down on a flat foot. Okay. Exactly. And what what is the back? Same thing. So I'm gonna go back. It's not the same. Push, though. replace. <laughs> one. Push, okay. replace. One. Push, replace, one, push, replace, one, push, replace, good, one, two, three, there you go. This. One, two, three, good, four, five, six. Okay, four. I'm going to stop right there. Okay. <laughs> I, did, I did it once. Um, if, I try <laughs> and, if I try and do it anymore, I'm going to mess myself up. That's all right. That's all right. So um, I want to do one last kind of like challenge pattern. Um, which can be homework and we can uh -huh. revisit it to, um, Friday when we talk about swing because it's it's playing on some of the dynamics of swing kind of combining our swing and our waltz and okay. that is a sweetheart cuddle okay so I'm gonna go through your footwork first uh -huh. and then I'm gonna come back to my footwork and if you want to practice it alongside you can absolutely do that. I, I think I need to at least see it done before anyone wants me practicing it. Okay, all right. So we're gonna be in our side basic. We have our nice little uh, fifth positions that we're doing. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do a left. I'm gonna push away from my partner. So I'm switching to a two hand hold and I'm gonna take a slightly larger back break. Then I'm gonna bring my feet together check my watch and bring her into my side and that's where we're going to stop. So we have one okay, okay. full set to prep. Uh -huh. Second we start, we push away, we bring our feet in and we bring her into a cuddle position. Uh, okay. I mean again, in, until until we're doing this, I, I, I just a lot of words. Well, let's let's try it and then I can break down what okay. I'm doing separately. Beach ball. Beach ball. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, uh -huh. three, four, five, six. What, what is six? So six, we've created the two hand holds. So we've created some space. Okay. On seven. Am I up here or am I no, back you're here? you're back. You're going to close your feet and you're going to check. Where? Just together. Uh, <laughs> to, to which foot? You're bringing your right foot to your left. Sorry, you're bringing your, your left to your right. Okay. You're stepping forward to close, okay. and you're going to check the watch on your hand. Uh, checking watch. To bring me in to a cuddle okay. position. Okay. So let's try that again. We're going to take like three steps this way, because eventually it's going to move that way. Okay. Beach ball. Beach ball. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, release, four, Five, six, check your watch and bring me in. Was that, was that right? I don't <laughs> that was know. it. Okay. So let's let's let me break down that a little bit slower for those of you that are at home. And we're gonna turn 90 degrees just so I can kind of demonstrate this a little bit better. So we'll take it in two sections, getting nope. the prep for the sweetheart and then the actual sweetheart itself. 
So we have one basic. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And then on four, five, six, we're going to take our side step like normal. Mm -hmm. But he's going to lower this hand so that I push away. And on our rock step, we're going to maintain, we're going to establish a two hand hold. So we've got a little bit of space here. Okay, okay. let's try just that much again. Each ball. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, push away, four, five, six. Awesome. Now from here, as you go to close your feet, you are going to check the invisible watch on your left hand. So just pretend like you're checking your watch. Good. Now, you did the thing that we try to avoid doing, which is you held my hand while you flipped it. So I want you to release the fingers and just check your watch. Hey, there we go. Do that one more time. Perfect. So now we've got a fingertip to fingertip hold, mm -hmm. but you're not impacting where my hand or my wrist are. Uh -huh. That hand flipping and raising ever so slightly is going to tell me that I'm turning. So I'm going to turn into your side. Should I be checking the lifting? Or? No, you should be like... All one oh, motion. Oh, oh, yeah. Like an old man checking like his an, watch. Like an like an old vaudeville. Huh? I wonder yeah. what time it is. So what people do when they have bifocals? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So beach ball. Beach ball. Starting from the beginning. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Push away. Four. Check your watch. One, two, three. Yeah. I feel like I was just standing there not doing anything for one, two, three. Is that That's funny? exactly correct. To be doing? Okay. Yes. Because the person that is turning uh -huh. to follow has extra footwork involved, so we need time to get there. And again, okay. this is a wedding waltz, so it's highly adapted, highly changed okay. to fit the context of what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. Um, with that in mind, as a follow, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, we uh, release, we catch on a two hand hold. I'm going to take a step forward into my partner with my right foot and then I'm going to close my feet into this cuddle position. Mm -hmm. So I am just stepping forward and across and following my hand and then I'm turning and closing my feet together and then we're going to hold on three in this kind of like picture perfect moment. Okay. So let's try that one more time together. This time you, we'll say, you say picture perfect. Is that literally the only purpose of this? Is to get the, the wedding photo? Yes. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> so we have... Beach ball. Yep. Yeah. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, push away. Four, five, six. And then lift and we come in. Very nice. Now, okay. we're not going to talk about this today because we're just about to run out of our hour time, which doesn't really exist, but I'm going to, I'm going to impose it. Um, next Wednesday, we're going to pick up right here. Mm -hmm. So come back here. Oh. So we've just come into our cuddle position. Okay. You are going to stand exactly where you're at. It's a good start. You are going to gently, because there is a wall there and we do have not a lot of space. You're going to Frisbee me out with your right hand. I assume let go. Let go with the left and frisbee okay. to the right. Da 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 da. Perfect. And then lift your hand. Da 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 da. -da. And then back in front of you. Beach ball. Beach ball. Okay. And we can start again. Okay. And I don't have to do anything. And you don't have to do anything. I don't. I don't like gesture. I don't. I mean, <laughs> I I probably wouldn't do like a a yeehaw to it. Mm -hmm. Um, but you could have the hand on the hip. You could have that arm out. Um, you could style it depending on how big or how small you want, but that can be a discussion for next Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's try everything that we've done so far mm -hmm. with music okay. one more time, and then I'll come over and chat with folks. So if they have any, if you have any questions or clarifications, go ahead and put them in the chat now. Um, that way, once we finish with music, I can kind mm -hmm. of answer and we can talk a little bit more. So, you say we're going to put this to music. Yes. What, what are we doing? So let's do one. Uh -huh. Forward and back basic. Uh huh. Wait, 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 wait. The the basic or the uh, the marching thing. Which would you prefer? I would prefer not the marching thing because I've already forgotten it. Okay, we'll do we'll do the simple forward and back. Okay. We'll do the more complicated side to side. Okay, that's fine. I I feel like I've got that. I'm slow, but I I feel like I've I don't know. You haven't complained yet. No. So. You're doing awesome. Okay. Very proud of you. 
Um, so we'll do one forward and back. Okay. And then we'll do four. Turn. Rotating to get back to where we started. Okay. We'll do one of the fist position breaks side to side. Uh -huh. We'll do an underarm turn. Okay. We'll do one side to side. Uh -huh. And then we'll do the sweetheart cut. Okay. You're gonna keep counting all of those, I will, right? I will okay, count. Then we should be fine. We're gonna. We are gonna crank the speed up just a little bit, though. I know. I'm so mean. No. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's like circus music. Called party waltz. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give us a one through six, and then we're gonna start on the second set. It's like polka. Beach ball. Beach ball. Beach ball. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. Geez. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, whoa, whoa, whoa. Three. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start that back over. That's not a speed that I was prepared for. It's fast, right? Yeah, it's a little fast. Well, okay. we'll get there. We'll get there. That's why we practice. Alright, beach ball. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Three, two, three, five, six. Four, two, three, two, slide. One, cross. Two, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. I lost ya. <laughs> you did lose me. I told you, I, I just don't do those that fast. Well, okay, so, so here's... Do we have this but like 15% slower? I'm gonna try it with this one. So, so I think we just did. Here's another adaptation that you can make. You can go back to the old side to side, uh -huh. and I'll do the more advanced side to side. I don't know if that would get us there, but what? Beach ball. Yep, we'll start from the top. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, five, six. Three, two. Four, five, six, four, two, three, four, two, side, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, push away, and in. Okay, let, let me slow it down and we'll yeah, try it once yeah, to slow it down. Yeah, a little bit slower, I think that would, uh, ugh. All right, all right, all right. This is... This sounds like a Jackson Brown song. It could be someone trying to copy that formula. Beach ball. <laughs> one, two, three. Tell me the part I've got down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, two, to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, is that is that where I was supposed to be? Sure. No. All right. What part was wrong? You gotta give me a full basic and a half before you do that Wait. sweetheart cut off. One, All the way two, over. three, four, five. Start All the second one. Oh. And then oh, push it back. Whoops. Yeah. So let's just do that second half because your rotation is looking awesome. Okay. So we'll do uh, one side to side, underarm turn. One side to side, uh -huh. and then on the second half of that, All right. beach ball. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, 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 push away. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay. There's no. I mean, that's the simple step, though. So that that's is. not. That's not the. Marching thing. Correct, correct. But we'll get you there. We'll, we'll get see. you up to that. We'll see. We will, uh, we'll practice a lot between now and next week so that we are ready to do a more advanced version. So I'm going to take a quick sip of water and then we're going to chat for a little bit. What's that Jackson Brown song that the, was it the Eagles that did it? I don't know what song Going you're down the about. road trying to loosen my load. I got a world of troubles on my mind. One Something. Find another, another, will she the friend of mine? Take yeah, it easy. that's it. Take it easy. That's, <laughs> there we go. Does that not sound like the intro to Take It Easy? I mean, it is it. It is just generic Southern rock. I guess. It is copyright free music courtesy of YouTube, sure. which I am very is thankful for. Is Take It for. Easy a waltz? 
No, it would be oh, a yeah. swing. Never mind then. Never mind. It would be a swing. Doesn't help. So how are we doing? What questions do we have? <clears throat> that was kind of the instruction portion of our live stream. I can get up and clarify anything that folks have questions on. Um, or if everything looks good, um, we can just kind of sit and chat for a little bit. So let me know what you're doing. How, how's it going? Um, you said you felt another aftershock, like right before we were about to go live. I don't know. I, you know, we've had, we've had the, the, people probably can't hear me, but we've had uh, so many that they all just sort of blur together. Yeah, yeah, we're getting to that point where we don't know if it's like PTSD and we're just feeling a truck go by and we think it's another earthquake or uh, if it's actually an aftershock. So if anybody in the chat is also in Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, let me know if you guys felt a little tremor uh, around like 6.45 tonight. It wasn't, it wasn't anything big or anything major, but it was enough. It was enough apparently for him to notice. Or, or believe that I noticed. Or believe that you noticed, yeah. Um, if there is anybody that joined us midway through, um, hi, I'm Samantha. I am a professional ballroom dance instructor here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, Love Live Dance is the business name. Um, this is my husband, Matt. He is not a professional ballroom dancer. And that's no. part of the reason why we're doing this. He's mm -hmm. not here. Well, that's good that you guys didn't feel it, Max. So, I don't know, maybe it was your imagination. Could have been. Who you knows? It's been a long day. Yeah. So, just as a quick recap, again, for those that maybe came midway through, um, the patterns that we just did are wedding waltz specific. So, if you are a social dancer or a competitive dancer, you can use this as great tempo practicing. Um, so, I could probably put on the Blue Danube, which is not a copy written song. Thank you, Strauss, for writing it in the ages ago. Um, it really depends on who's performing it. It was in the YouTube oh, yeah. audio library. So I think it's in public domain now. Yeah, but that's a function of who performs it. <sighs> Definitely possible. Yeah. Um, but I could turn that on just so you can see kind of like the tempo pacing and how to adapt this when you're practicing at home, obviously. Um, is, this, is that is that a faster song than what we were already doing? It's a trickier song than what we were doing. I this is this is one that I would not have you do. Okay, so, well, that's safe. So I use it um, to train my students that are getting ready for Vienna Ball, which is the fundraiser that the Salt Lake Symphony does every year here in Salt Lake. Um, it is a classical piece, and Strauss liked to play with tempos. So it kind of does this like up and down and up and down and up and down. Oh, the tempo, tempo changes the in tempo the song. The tempo changes in the song. But it's a waltz all the way through. It is a Viennese waltz all the way through. 3-4, but super fast. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He, he, he's not playing with time signatures. And that is something that uh, if you are a wedding couple in the chat um, and you're planning on doing like hard rock or prog rock or... Metal or something. A little bit of Opeth. A little bit of Opeth. Wedding, wedding dance. Yeah, you could 100% do it. You just have to realize that like all sense of musical timing is probably going to go out the window if you're if you're <laughs> if you are dancing with me. If you're if you're one of my students and you mm -hmm. come in and you want Opeth because they like to do weird things like seven eighths and fifteen sixteenths and mm -hmm. then switch to a four four and then switch back to a three four. So we would we would pick something that you could just kind of do straight across regardless of where the music went. Okay. Yeah. Um, but so so for context, since I kind of mentioned yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Let me pull this up. Okay. And let me switch back to the dance cam for a second. And I'll just kind of mime with Casper the Friendly Ghost. So if I were practicing this at home, because I have a small dance space. One, two, three. Two, three. Okay, this all seems uh, recognizable. Super easy. Uh huh. Slow even. I mean, I feel like you should have given this to me. It would have been a lot easier than the last thing we did. 
Oh, folks, he has no idea. It also is like a nine minute composition. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it gets fast like three minutes in, I think we could have easily gotten our one turn in. Uh oh. Uh, well, we could just cut that part out. So he does that throughout. Uh-huh. He, he composed it, the orchestra does that throughout. Um, so it gets very slow, and then it picks back up, and mm -hmm. then it gets very slow, and then it picks back up. So, if you are tempo practicing, this mm -hmm. is a good place to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it just twice as fast? Because if it's twice as fast, I feel like you can just. You just ignore it, couldn't you? You could. Is that a thing that people's, people are allowed to do? No. No? No. no. I mean, it depends. Again, it, it goes back to what are you learning this for, right? Uh-huh. If you're learning this because you want to dance in your home during quarantine, uh -huh. yeah. Who cares? Throw it out. Yeah. If you are learning this for your wedding, as long as as long as long both partners are on the same page, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you are going to Utah Star Ball and competing, you can't ignore the tempo. The well, tempos. they're not going to play that. No, they wouldn't play it. They would play something with a consistent speed, so... Okay. Yeah. There you go. So I, I still feel my opinion on this. Mm -hmm. um, I think when we did the last stream, you talked about doing seven dances, a certain number of basic steps. Was it six? I don't remember. Three, six, five, so six, six. I said six basic in six basic. Oh, six and six. Six okay. and six. So 36. Yes. And I don't feel that I'm any closer to that than when we started. No. Okay. So I now know how to dance if I get married again. <laughs> if, uh, if we decide to dance for our 10-year tenth, tenth anniversary or 25-year sure. anniversary, you'll but, have but to other, But otherwise, this doesn't have a ton of applicability to, to me. To you personally, no. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the nightclub stuff. We're coming to that. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do it, but I feel like if there were anything that would be applicable, maybe that would be it? I don't know. Again, not part of the six and the basic uh -huh. six, but we will get there. Okay. We'll get there. It just takes time. It takes time. Um, Max wants to know what you're drinking. Uh, this is Monkey Shoulder. It's a blended scotch. It's my new favorite it's blended scotch. Very cheap. Yeah. And I'm nothing if not cheap. <laughs> yeah, if, if you are a scotch person or a bourbon person that likes corn yeah. bourbon and not rye bourbon. It's, it's, it's a very sweet scotch. Yeah. Yeah. Our local liquor store had it. And in Utah that's saying something. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Um, what other questions do we have? What other clarifications do we want? Again, today was wedding waltz, so I think... Um, Since that isn't a thing, it's, yeah. not, it's not a waltz, it's not a Viennese waltz, Yes. Is there really anything else there? What do you mean? I mean, once you once you get the basic forward or the the what was what was the fancy forward and back and side to side? Uh, balance and hesitation steps. Uh, that's not what you called them earlier. You can call them forward and back and fifth positions. Fifth position. Okay. The fifth position things. The the fancy basic. Yes. Once you've got that and you've done your turn. And you've done your underarm turn. Yes. And you've done the sweetheart thing. Mm -hmm. is, is, are you done? I mean, it depends, right? So it will get you started. Uh-huh. Um, from there, if I was doing a consultation with a client and I was mm -hmm. kind of taking them through the process, let's say, for instance, they came in and wanted to do From the Ground Up by Dan and Shay. Fairly popular song, straightforward no nonsense, it's a Viennese waltz. Um, that, I don't know what song that is. Again, I can't play it for no, you. I know, I'll play it for you afterwards. Um, if you played it for me, I still wouldn't know what it was. Fair enough, fair enough. So 
I would probably take them through all of the patterns that we just did. Mm -hmm. And then I would find from either rumba or swing. I tend to pull a lot from swing. You could pull from nightclub two-step. You could pull from hustle. I could pull other patterns from other dances and adapt Dude, the you're just, footwork. You're just jamming shit together. Exactly. It, okay. we're, we're putting window dressing okay. on for for the specific client for the specific song uh -huh. for the specific feel but you're not you're not doing the six for the six no you're not doing any of the other fancy ones that aren't included in the six and that's and that's the thing when it comes to wedding dances too is yeah. i treat wedding dances and therefore wedding couples or special event couples mm -hmm. as completely outside of the social dance or competitive dance instruction process mm -hmm. so you're just learning to dance for that specific song, mm -hmm. or if you were doing a first dance, a father-daughter dance, and a mother-son dance, you're learning just those three dances and three songs. So is, I, is that because of the photography that's involved? Um, like the sweetheart cuddle thing that you did there, I feel like yeah. that's very much intended to generate a photo opportunity. Yes. Yeah. But otherwise, I don't know. I don't really know what it achieves because so, I, I don't do anything during that. So because I've stripped your footwork out of it. So oh. on Friday, we're going to play with that same pattern mm -hmm. in, in the style that it came from, which is East Coast Swing, or at least for my reference point, it came from East Coast Swing. That's the pattern that I kind of use it from. Um, so that does have footwork and you oh, do okay. have more involved. You're just giving me the, uh, the easy mode. I'm giving you the easy okay. mode. Exactly. Exactly. Um, a lot of the way that I approach spins and turns and kind of like big moments is from that photography or videography mm -hmm. standpoint for weddings. So if we were doing this again, you were an actual client, we were learning how to dance this for a wedding, I would have us hold that sweetheart cuddle for a couple of counts mm -hmm. so that you could get that picture moment snapped. Yeah. And then there's a flare out, that, that frisbee kind of that we talked about, yeah. that's a roll out. And so it probably makes way. the dress do pretty things. Exactly, right. exactly. And you can use it as a, a vehicle to bring the lady back in mm -hmm. and do a dip. I mean, we did this for our wedding. We did a rumba that was, again, kind of easy mode and stripped yeah, down. It sure was. But it's similar, I don't remember most of it. Similar concept applies. Mm -hmm. Like what? What moments do you want to highlight from the song? What feeling do you want to have as a couple when you're dancing it? Mm -hmm. And what photos do you want to make sure that you have for 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the line? Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a lot of latitude that I take when it comes to wedding dances. All right. Yeah. But again, I don't plan to get married again. Yeah. So this, this is an interesting thing that ends up getting put on a shelf. This is an interesting thing for you to have in the back of your mind when on the one rare occasion when you're trying to get some brownie points, you let me dance in the <laughs> kitchen with you. And and Thousand Years by Christina Perry comes on. I don't like, know what song that is either. I want to dance. Um, I don't know what song that is either. Again, I'll play it for you afterwards. Uh, but it's a Viennese waltz. We use it at won't competitions. Matter, won't know it. So it's, it's a good option for when mm -hmm. you're dancing in your living room to Viennese waltz which is a very popular style at the moment mm -hmm. and you can't do left turns or right turns or tipple chasses or speaking all Greek. of the other stuff yeah okay yeah so um my plan is to do wedding wednesdays mm -hmm. and then like social dance actual learn how to dance fridays um and we'll play with some different things on both styles, so that way, hopefully, by the end of it, we can kind of see how they all link up. All right. So, so is Friday or Friday is getting me closer to the uh, six and six? Yes. And Wednesday is the day I have to suffer through to get closer to Friday. Yes. Boy, if that doesn't, if that isn't, but just that you. speaks to my life. But just you. Just you. Ho <laughs> okay. Hopefully, the folks at home are enjoying. All right. Learning, learning more. No, no. I mean, I, 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 again, I, I'm sure it's interesting. It's just uh, when, when I think of dancing, I think of when, when is it going to be relevant in my life? And I've already been married, so the wedding stuff is not necessarily as applicable to me. Yeah. It's like what, what are the 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 few times in my life when I'm going to get drugged to something um, and have to dance and not be able to say no is probably someone else's wedding. And this would work. So again, pop, popular song. So so Elvis Presley's Can't okay. Help Fall in Love comes on. 
and the DJ goes, I don't know that one all those lovely couples that have been married for X number of years, come join the couple on the dance floor. Is that what they do at weddings? That's yeah. what they occasionally do at weddings. Mm. Um, and, and I say, oh, honey, but please, you never let me dance with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've said those words many yeah. a time. Then we could do exactly yeah. what we just did, and, and I would be perfectly but, happy. But is that more efficient than just doing whatever? I mean, what is the Elvis song? Is it an actual waltz? Yes, it is a Viennese oh, waltz. Okay. Unless unless Tim's in the comments and is going to tell me that it's really just a slow 4-4. Uh, okay, but the, the point is... It's got a triple in it. If, if you're going to subject me to learning these things, yeah. uh, or if I'm going to choose to learn these things, then presumably we could just do a Viennese. No. 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 No? Okay. If you, okay, so let me let me try and... Well, what's everybody else doing? Cause... Yes, yeah, exactly. Most of the moves that we did can be applied to other dances, or they okay. come from other dances, so there's a lot of overlap there. Um, so let me put this in context for you. Okay. Viennese Waltz, Quick Step, Samba, mm -hmm. Pasta Doble. Mm -hmm. If you did those full-out, correct, technical, by-the-book, on a social dance floor at someone else's wedding, uh -huh. we would look like spastic crazy people. Okay. Mostly because the Pasa Dublin needs a bull, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I don't know. Um, no, but if we did what we just did on that same floor, uh -huh. we would be fine. Sure. People would go, oh wow, they really, look how, they really know how to dance. <laughs> <laughs> How wrong they would be. The flip side of that would be mm -hmm. if we did what we just did mm -hmm. at the studio on a Friday Night Social, uh -huh. someone would probably come over and go, oh, do you not know how to dance? Let me show you the basic. Mm -hmm. And they would show That's why I don't go to those. And they would show you something infinitely more complicated. Yes. If we were doing a real Viennese waltz on that yeah. same floor, though, people would be like, oh, wow, you really know how to dance. Uh -huh. So it's it's context, right? Sure. Some things work, some things don't. The Viennese waltz is fast, it's aggressive, and it moves around the dance floor. You are doing laps. It is running a yeah. marathon. So, uh, you know... So, so no Viennese waltz. I, I mean... Not, I think, not technically correct on a wedding I, I, I think we've been married long enough that you know this about me. I, I do not aspire to be anywhere in my life physically or otherwise, where someone sees me do a Viennese waltz, that's a real Viennese waltz, and they go, oh, this man knows how to dance. Eventually and, like, gives we'll me a there. golf clap. Like, I, that, that yeah. is not a thing that I aspire to. So if that removes Viennese waltz from the list, I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, uh, I, I can say pretty safely that in this format, I am not going to be teaching, teaching you a Viennese waltz. Okay. Because we don't have the space, and it would take weeks of preparation, and we'd need to get into some technical stuff, and but but that's, that's that, that wouldn't be interesting. That I mean wouldn't before. be fun for you, and no, that wouldn't be interesting for you guys. No. Um, if we I get... mean, I, I I imagine Twitch loves seeing other people suffer to some degree, and, and they would see me suffer a lot. So that that might be a little bit process. interesting for you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. So so, is it possible that in a future stream I might demonstrate an actual Viennese waltz? Yes. It would be post quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> or or I would need to find a day that I could go to the studio when nobody else is there and set up everything and, and do it on a full size dance floor. You aren't doing a full correct Viennese waltz mm -hmm. with the movements in a connected pattern in that flow in a ten by ten space. It's just it some people can do it, and more power to you, but I think that loses the point of what makes a Viennese waltz a Viennese waltz. So sure. I would rather just be open and honest and say, I'm dumbing it down, and it's a wedding mm -hmm. waltz, and it's meant to be stationary. Yeah, and, and, and that's why when we go to events, whether they be the Vienna Ball, which I've not gone to, or other things at the studio, my approach is, you're a dance instructor, I'm not. You will be dancing with other people, and I will be, you know... In a corner somewhere. Cheering from the sidelines. Mm -hmm. Counting down how many minutes it is before you get to go home. Sometimes. Uh, not always. But sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. And that's okay. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Fair enough. Yeah. So, so Friday, 
come back at 7 p.m. and we will talk about East Coast Swing, mm -hmm. which is one of your basic six. Okay. Uh, we'll start with some single time, which again is kind of easy mode, and then we'll crank it up to 11 with triple time swing. Probably not. Probably not. Um, you said East Coast. I've also heard yes. people say West Coast. Yes. What's the difference? A lot. <laughs> and we'll, we can kind of get into that in a lot of detail on Friday. Okay. The short version is... Um, East Coast Swing is a side-to-side -side action. Um, it has a lot of rotation. It has more movement. It's a bigger dance. It doesn't travel the same way like a waltz or a foxtrot or a tango does. East Coast does. East Coast. Okay. Uh, it comes from the rock and roll Big <clears throat> Bang era. Okay. West Coast, as I understand it, was a product of an increase in R&B, jazz, and blues influences in the mm -hmm. music scene. And also the um, kind of invent of nickel dances or dime dances, where you literally paid a nickel or a dime to get two floorboards about 10 feet long. And that was your designated dance space. So you could only dance on those two floorboards. So they had to take all of the dances of the time, which were mostly East Coast Swing, and narrow them down so that they pass on a floorboard or what we call a slot. So, um, it, surely not. I mean, that seems unlikely, right? No, really, that's no. legitimately what happened for a while, especially after the 1950s, 1960s. I don't know. If you I'm know, asking you. if you know in the chat, go ahead and let me know. Um, my understanding is 1950s, 1960s, like post USO war. There was a shortage of floorboards? No, 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 no. no. Uh, the dances would be so packed, the dances would be so popular oh, that okay. you had to be given a designated space because there were so many bodies in the yeah. room that people were getting shut down for fire code violations or the equivalent thereof. I'll again, take, I'll take again, a word for it. Uh, so know. the story goes. Um, I do know for a fact that nickel and dime dances were a thing, that you okay. were given a specific section of the floor that you were mm -hmm. allowed to dance in, and that's... What are those things that look like hot dogs? Where? What hot dogs? I don't know. It's probably me with my shaved head. <laughs> um, so... You would have a, a slot of space that you were allowed to dance mm -hmm. in, which changed how you danced. So um, West Coast Swing and New York Hustle are very much in the same vein in that they are supposed to be danced kind of along the same space. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So East Coast Swing So we're doing East on Coast Friday. on Friday. And that is the side to side more space one. Yeah. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit wider. It, tra okay. it travels a little bit more. Okay. Again, though, it's... We'll see what happens. It's kind of more rock and roll country. like. Com comfy casual. Comfy casual. Comfy casual. Nothing too All crazy. Right. All at right. least in my mind. So We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and end the stream here unless folks have any other questions for us. And then we'll be back on Friday um, with East Coast Swing. And then the following Wednesday with more wedding stuff. Stuff. Yeah. Stuff. We'll probably, like I, I, I talked about wanting to do the uh, Sweetheart Cuddle, so when we mm -hmm. play with it in our East Coast Swing on Friday, we'll revisit it and kind of expand on it on Wednesday of next week, mm -hmm. and then kind of go through there. Um, I'm also trying to figure out what to do the rest of the week, so if you guys have suggestions, or if there's content that you want to see that's dance related, either just with me talking about kind of the history of dance, or music styles, or what have you, or mm -hmm. um, if you want to see us do more stuff, uh, go ahead and either send me a message on uh, Instagram, or I've made this uh, stream a post on Facebook and Instagram, so uh, write down in the comments what you want to see, and uh, right. yeah, we'll see All you guys right. next week. There we go. Or no, we'll see you Friday. Oh my goodness. Yep. Two yep. days. Dance lesson complete. Dance lesson complete. High five. All right. All right. Thanks, guys.